Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Spiral Mandate, and we are about to jump down here to 2A and try and take out one of their dimensional anchors. I've got a 300k fleet. I think we can do it. Let's go. Wait for our engines to uh, ramp up. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Yeah, I, I think we've I think we've done it. Huh. Crossbone Vanguard was forced to return to Hoshvir from Tuay because it is within the borders of the Great Sidamatasive. Seriously? <laughs> I just took that I just destroyed that for you guys. How rude. Situation log updated. Well, I think I took out the other two things. What are we uh, looking at in terms of researchable stuff? Yeah, obviously can't get the uh, anchor core. Uh, the matter disintegrators are really about the only thing that they have. And I'm not going to be able to get in here because uh, we have uh, closed borders with them. Do we really? Wow, that is that is a crazy trip. I think they might uh, be planning to build a dimensional anchor here. Construction well, complete. let's head back. Sanctuary D has finished some construction, so let's uh, take a take a look at that. That can be upgraded. Excellent. That is a lot of food that I'm generating there. <laughs> well, we took out one dimensional anchor. Where's my cave? Cave carrot is over here. Okay. Hostile fleet engaged. Don't know where that dimensional armada apparently popped up. Hmm. Oh, maybe there was a. Uh, yeah, it was probably one of these guys. Okay. Governor, governor, that's fine. Oh no, I just uh, lost a battleship to uh, extra dimensional armadas. Okay, well, that will happen. Uh, let's see, the Unbidden. Unbidden killed by us, four. Uh, and they have two anchors remaining. So, yeah, I mean, with my fleet the size it is right now, I am pretty sure that we could uh, go take out some of these uh, fleets and stuff like that. They just got destroyed. And I don't have any, uh, like, view vis visibility on that one, so I won't know when it happens until it is too late. Okay, so we got uh, our... Uh, clear blocker tech. I guess I'll go for the leader lifespan. I don't care about the sector limit. The sector limit plus one is like the most worthless uh, of the techs. I guess to a certain extent. Maybe, I don't know. Edict duration might not be bad, but uh, no, we'll go with for leader lifespan. Okay, they pulled a fleet out of here. There is a fleet up here. Let's go up here and see what we can do about taking out uh, this fleet. So that I can research their tech. Yep, they're coming for me. Oh no! 
Oh no, they're coming for me. Hostile fleet engaged. And we just as that happens, we get a uh, an election. Um anyone good that I can get? No. No. Okay. Ship cost minus 15. No. Battleship focus is definitely better. Situation log. Okay, so we just chewed them up. Lost nothing. I didn't even lose the Corvettes. <laughs> wow. Alright, Cave Carrot, let's go ahead and uh, research that. Uh, you guys, um, let's just, I don't know, go, go home and repair for now. Construction complete. Sanctuary G is finished. Some construction. Excellent. That can be upgraded. Right, I want to see what uh, what tech we get out of this, though. Hopefully, no uh, enemies will jump in. Let me put it on passive and just keep an eye on this. So I'll actually have to research this, but it should be okay. So yeah, I mean, with the fleet that I've got right now... Alright, new ruler mandate. Um, what can I do with some of this... Uh, oh, I know what I could do. It's just growth, time, and food. Um, Re-education campaigns. We'll try that. See if that can force some of these guys to be the correct things. Probably not, but uh, it's worth a shot. Uh, and where are my construction ships? You're all the way down there. Oh, actually, I did pick up So that'll be two. And I think that'll be two. No, that's three. That's fine. All right, that should cover my uh, orbital mandate, research mandate. And where are you now? There we go. 25%. Wakegi have so many uh, rebellions. It's awesome. I love it. Like, I mean, I've had rebellions before a couple times when I, like, wasn't paying attention and just was really, really low on uh, uh, influence. But it's kind of funny how many problems they're having. So, 30% progress on extra-dimensional weaponry. Uh, quite a bit of physics research and a little bit of engineering research. Let's put you back on that and send you off to do some surveying again. I don't think there's a whole lot left to survey, though. Other than... Tue and Kogaton. Oh, I am capped out on both uh, minerals and energy. Alright. Uh, Jared. Well, no wonder. Finished up those battleships. How are we doing on our deals? Alright, we've got uh, plenty of time. Trade for minerals. All 
There we go. Alright, so, uh, once again, we are basically at a point where we could just go over here and blow up the Unbidden. Just completely demolish them. Um, obviously, I mean, all of these worlds are still colonizable. Uh, so these other empires, they would they would pretty quickly recolonize. Uh, unless, of course, I managed to uh, jump over there and do something. And what the heck happened over here? Didn't they have, like, one of these? Maybe I uh, should have saved some of that... Uh, some of that energy. Well, I have managed to isolate a uh, portion complete. of the Wakegi. I'm okay with that. Phase disruptors. Are we going to... Yep, extra-dimensional weaponry. Let's go ahead and do that. Matter disintegrators. Energy weapon attack speed and energy weapon damage are pretty good, but uh, we'll go for the... Uh, we'll go for the new tech. It is rare, after all. And... I could easily... Um, you know, start just attacking all these guys and trying to uh, take more of their space. And I might do that. But we are basically at a point where, I mean, there is there is no challenge with these guys. Um, let's wait and get the extra-dimensional weaponry so we can take a look at that. And then I think we will be ready to uh, destroy the Unbidden. I mean, they've they've really done a lot of damage to our former allies up here, which actually makes me a little bit happy. I mean, they kicked us, they kicked us out. You know, if they hadn't kicked us out, then uh, we would have been right there, willing to uh, help them. But no, no, I mean, they didn't want our help. If the Unbidden were a little bit more organized about how they would go about it. Uh, then I'd, I'd actually be a little bit happier because, uh, you know, if they, if they went and took out these guys or these guys completely, um, that would give me a good chuckle. Shabtak Union? Who the hell? Oh. <laughs> you guys decided to, uh, decide to squat over here, apparently. I'm sure they're, they built a, uh, frontier outpost. I don't know why they haven't taken this, uh, world over yet. And no more unsurvey unsurveyed systems. Okay, well, in that case... This will bring you back to Periwinkle. Assist research, and you should probably... With that. Or I could just, uh. Seriously? Build the crew quarters here. Yeah, you guys just stay here. That's fine. I mean, I guess you don't need food, but. Let's at least get the orbital mind control laser. I mean, I know that I could destroy the way you, you know the Wakegi easily. I mean, they're having so many problems with uh, their vassals, and they've been chewed up by the uh, Unbidden. That I don't really feel a need to go to war with them, just to say that I did. I mean, look at all these wars that they're in right now. They have a lot of uh, vassals, but I think a lot of that is. Uh, um. Our revolters and stuff like that. And I have capped out on energy. Well, I can terraform these worlds. Oh, I am terraforming that one. What about this one? Am I terraforming that one? I am not. Ocean world. There we go.
I mean, it would be kind of fun to spiral in, but, you know, and be the, the actual spiral mandate, but it would take a really, really long time. And given that there is a uh, new expansion that they're working on, uh, it's going to change a lot of stuff so that I, I would definitely not be able to... Uh... Oh, hey, hey, they're gone. All right, yeah, I feel, I feel good about uh, going after the Unbidden next. And I think that that will basically uh, end the series. Capped out on energy again. Now just let, let it go. I don't need to build more ships, even. So, yes, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so in the next episode, maybe two if necessary, uh, we will go in and destroy the Unbidden. Just want to take a little bit of time before that actually uh, happens. Hmm, what do we want here? Do we have the... What about the symbol of unity right now? Get some science. Get some uh, get a mineral processing plant. Mining network here. And then I'll have to start replacing these. It is producing 29 society research, but... Those individual buildings don't produce all that much on their own, so... And someone has moved away from there. That's fine. On the other hand, uh, let's see. If I declare war, oh, that would be uh, that would be everyone. <laughs> that is a lot of liberation. Oh, because the. The Wakegi would be pulled in. Okay. Um, you don't have a defensive pact with them. Their independence is guaranteed. Okay. But you've got a def defensive pact with the Inari and the Sovereign Imatharan planets. How long has that been there? That has probably been there a really long time. Well, let's go get that researched! <laughs> um, maybe I will do a little bit, because I am I'm a little bit annoyed that they're, they've got cl borders closed to me. So if I declared war... Uh, open borders with the Cinematis Hive... If I cleanse these two, I should get all that. Alright, Dojak. Cleanse that. Impan. Cleanse that. Alright. That is 54. Can't really cleanse, but uh, let's take Karazit. Would you guys not be part of this? Oh no, you wouldn't. Okay. Continental and Arctic. Um All right, Yobanir. I want to take the Arctic world. So, two. And cleanse four, if possible. Eh, that would be enough. Alright, we'll do this. We'll do this, and then uh, we'll go after the unbidden. Where is my combat, my uh, transports?
actually transports you just come here for now okay let's split you up split you up and we will split you up so we've got four fleets crossbone vanguard you will start out by very tempted to just like go over here and blow up their uh, frontier outposts and stuff like that go there I'm gonna need uh, some to go up here is an extra dimensional armada right in there. I will want to be careful about that. I don't want to get in a battle with any of them. Jewel Profen Autocracy. Who? See how this goes. Research As we complete. jump around. And we got Crystal Forged Plating. Probably not going to use those. I still haven't gotten robotic workers. I love that. Um, kinetic weapon damage is good. Hostile fleet detected. Really? Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Seriously? Yeah, that's Hostile fleet engaged. It's so dangerous there. Sanctuary A has finished some construction. Do all of the upgrades. Uh, where is... where are you guys? We'll probably split you up. You guys go ahead and follow them. And you guys go ahead and follow... them. So we've got uh, two landing fleets, which should be strong enough to uh, do a lot of damage. Whose frontier outpost is this? No one that we're at war with. Okay, that's fine. They... They don't have a... Wow, they don't have a... a military base around their homeworld? Well, I guess we'll have some fun there. Hostile fleet engaged. You can go come up there, blow that up. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Evading hostile fleet. Alright, that's fine. I don't care about that evasion. Go ahead and blow that up too. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Alright, anything else to blow up here? Well, let's go blow that up. Blow all those up. Situation log updated. And where are, where are you guys? Okay, you are ready to land. Let's say move out of the way. Hostile fleet engaged. There we go, land armies. 
Unemployment. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll go with science. We'll go with science on these two tiles. Construction ship under attack. Single Station Corvette attack. coming in. That's under kind of amusing. Situation log updated. Enemy planet secure. There we go. Follow them. You are going to head down here. We'll take uh, that station. All right, you are ready to land, so we'll go ahead and do that. What are the rest of you doing? Uh, you are... you've taken out that stuff. I guess I'll bring you over here, then. Yeah, we'll go take out their, uh, their fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Well, hopefully Hostile before they we lose engaged. those uh, two battleships, we can take those guys out. Voltam Mining Base. Remnants of a small Voltam Helium-3 mining base have been found at the bottom of a large crater on Sagathia-3. The blast had created the crater... Uh, the blast that created the crater, crater seems to have originated from inside the facility itself. Unless Voltam mining techniques were radically different from our own, an equipment failure or accident cannot account for such a massive explosion. Situation Fascinating. Enemy and did that immediately disappear? Yes, it did. I guess because we've discovered the Voltam. Yeah. Huh. Well, I did not know that that was going to happen. Oh well. It's kind of a shame. Go ahead and head down there and assist research. Next up, um, I think there's a world in here, yeah. We'll head up there and take that. Situation log update. Okay. Take care of them. Come on down there. Yeah, so this tends to be pretty slow, although we've got 9.2 for the occupation there and 5.7, so it's not as bad as it could be. Uh, the lowest point will be uh, 5 for occupations, and that's, that's really bad. There. It's okay. Log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. There we go. Now we can land our armies here. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation. Crossbow and Vanguard updated. is done, which means you guys can land. It seems like a rather small world. Yeah, twelve. Actually, that has high-quality minerals and physics output. That's pretty nice. Not that they're making any real use of that. Uh, I guess for now, you guys come over here and start bombarding. You can bombard too. You can bombard... 
Might be able to split up my fleets a little bit more. I'm not sure if I want to, though. It might be a little bit too small. Then again, I'm not taking any real damage here. Enemy planet secured. There we go. Uh, let's actually head over here. And you can head up here and take on their homeworld. There we go. Embark all. Follow them. And we'll come down here. You guys can head over here since they have a uh, space station. And it is about time to end the episode. We're at 50% uh, war score. So in the next episode, we will continue our war here against uh, the Cinematus Hive. Primarily to open borders, but also just to have some fun. And then when that is done, we will be attacking the Unbidden and hopefully destroying them. See you next time, everyone.